Alberto Scorfano. Luca Panguro. Piacere. Trollamo Trombetta. It's a human thing. I'm kind of an expert. What does it mean? The, the thing you just said? Come on, I'll show you some more stuff. Mother of Pearl. You live up here? Yeah, me and my dad. He's not even here a whole lot, so I pretty much just do whatever I want. Isn't it dangerous? Yeah, it's the best. Everything good is above the surface. Like, what else? Air! <gasps> Gravity, also known as falling! <laughs> The sky, clouds, the sun. Whoa, don't look at it. Just kidding. Definitely look at it. <laughs> oh, mamma mia. Talk to Hercule. Are you hurt? Well, my head Not kinda you, hurt. Chicho, out of the way. Oh, piccolina, if there is so much as a scratch. Oh. Someone got lucky today. Hmm? Who got lucky? Mm-hmm. Out of towners, eh? Let me welcome you. Benvenuti a Porto Rosso. Chicho? <gasps> I'm delighted to meet you, number one. And number two, I love your stylish clothes. Where did you get them? A dead body. <laughs> <laughs> dead body. I'm kidding. Uh, look, Signor Vespa? Signor I... Vespa. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> I am Marco Levisconti, five-time winner of the Porto Rosso Cup. The Porto Rosso what? The Porto Rosso Cup. Per mille sardine, how do you think I paid for my beautiful Vespa? Hey, <gasps> stop looking. She's too beautiful for you. Hey, Papa. Hey. I brought some <gasps> friends for dinner. Is there enough for four? <laughs> oh, what's wrong with you, stupid? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Why do you think he kills with those? Anything that swims. <laughs> History journal today. No, that photo's a fake, Papa. Everyone in Porto Rosa pretends to believe in sea monsters. <gasps> well, I'm not pretending. Tell him about this town of bloodthirsty lunatics. I still can't believe he would do this. It's not like him. Just keep your guard up. There's gonna be land monsters everywhere. Ah! Ah! No! No! Not Wait. today! Ow! Land Ow! Monster! Ow! It's me! Oh, what? You scared the scales off of me! Jeez, <gasps> you're strong. I'm sorry, I'm just a little on edge. No, I needed that. It, it really woke me up. Wow, we look horrifying. Ugh, gross. Come on, let's find our son. <gasps> We can go anywhere, do anything. We just gotta stick together. We underdogs have to look out for each other, right? Underdogs! This is gonna be the best summer ever. We'll ride down every road. See the whole world together. It'll be amazing. <laughs> but there's just one thing. <sighs> whoa, 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 wait. Did you see that? No one can find out. Please don't take my sunshine away. Where did you boys say you were from? <laughs> Luca is a story of friendships that are authentic and only found around a certain age. We underdogs have to look out for each other, right? Underdogs! I love this moment in a young person's life, having someone push you out of your comfort zone to discover yourself. There's a certain innocence to this. It's really kind of beautiful. Come on! <laughs> 
I had the luck of meeting my best friend Alberto when I was 11. He had a ton of passion and was consciously testing his own fears. Who's holding the ramp? The turtle. And yeah. I wonder if I would have had the courage to go and chase my career in animation had I not met my best friend. I really loved watching the friendship between Luca, Julia, and Alberto. I'm hoping that it will bring back a lot of memories for people of summers when they were kids. My birthday's in the summer, so a lot of really, really good childhood memories are of summertime, and it was always a pool party. Let's go swim. I guess that's how humans swim. Ugh, that's embarrassing. Some kids go away to camp, and you're like, where my dog's at? But then the key ones that are in town, they like to party. These are the friendships that teach us lessons, build your self-esteem, and you have like the sense of belonging. I got friends that believe in me, who push me. Like I would tell them an idea that I have and they'd be like, make it, do it. This movie is the perfect example of that. Take me, gravity! These friendships that help us find ourselves. That is really at the heart of the story of Luca. Yeah! Yeah! Go start a club for losers. My name is Giulia Marcovaldo. We underdogs have to look out for each other. What's under the dogs? <laughs> this is my dad. What do you think he kills with those? Anything that swims. Huh? <laughs> Your life is so much cooler than mine. There's a million things you think you can't do. All you need is a chance to try. <laughs> Something's fishy with you two. This is too dangerous. Ah, oh, yes. I know your problem. You got a Bruno in your head. A Bruno? Say, silencio Bruno. Silencio Bruno. Louder. Silencio Bruno. Silencio Bruno. Silencio Bruno. Silencio Bruno. Can you still hear him? Nope, just you. Good. Now hang on. You do it now. Just say the thing. What's wrong with you, stupido? <gasps> uh -huh. uh. Come on, I'll show you some more stuff. Pixar has a history of wanting to make our films feel authentic. And so part of that is doing research. Taking the team to Italy was such a pleasure. I promise you told me everything you see! Sorry, too much? <laughs> Never. Our Pixar research trips make us look like very odd tourists because we're looking at the kind of details that we're trying to capture. We want it to be like a postcard you can jump into and really feel immersed by. The laundry in the wind, kids having watermelon, and people having their espresso. Espresso! <laughs> I love Miyazaki's movies. The texture, the details, the way he draws has been a great inspiration for me. When I saw Enrico's short La Luna, he calls our attention to things around us that are beautiful. I love that this film is an expansion of that feeling. It's so beautiful. Yes, we need it. Luca will, without a doubt, transport you to this vibrant world. <laughs> Watching it, I felt like I was there. Wow. <laughs> Makes you want to move to Italy. I think we should all live there. Sign me up for that, like, right now. Yeah! This is gonna be the best summer ever. Oh.